dear friends from today's gospel we have the consoling and strengthening words that were uttered by jesus when the disciples of jesus were right in the middle of the sea because the winds and storms of the sea it very hard to the boat in which the apostles of jesus were traveling Jesus after feeding the 5000 people he asked his disciples to go ahead of him to the other side and Jesus went to a mountain to pray and definitely in his prayer he might have thought of about his apostles traveling by the sea and definitely they will be struck due to the uh, disturbance of the sea tides and winds that is why jesus understanding the difficulties of his disciples he went to them but they were not in a mood to see jesus as their master they say they because of their fear and helplessness they saw jesus as a ghost but it is natural when we are frightened when we are helpless helpless or feeling hopeless instead of seeing something good even that is good we consider bad it is because of human condition we think that way but jesus told them take courage it is i do not fear jesus also told that the peace i leave behind is not something the world gives that is why you should not fear or sh- you should not worry that is what we read in the gospel of saint john chap chapter 15 yes my dear brothers and sisters surely you and i go through many storms or winds in the form of sicknesses betrayals or loneliness or any other negative experiences in those moments we need to hold on to the lord and to the faith that he has uh, implanted in your and my life but due to our human frailty we struggle in these moments to cry out to god and to recognize that god invisibly comes to our help maybe may through good people to save from the difficulties we are st- stuck into let us believe in that god who is concerned about you and me about our going and coming 
more than we are concerned about him let us trust him not when we are when everything goes well in our life but we need to trust all the more in him when we go life's hardest times or toughest times then you and i will know that the god we worship we love is something greater than the storms that we encounter as we live on this mother earth may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen wishing you all a happy tuesday today